It is estimated that only 1% of humanity is capable of understanding ontological mathematics. People who aren't in the 1% respond via the fallacy of incredulity. This is the logical fallacy that occurs when someone assumes that something is false because they can't understand it. They decide that something is false because they can't imagine how it could be true. People can believe that the universe is a simulation because they can see simulations running on a computer. People cannot believe that reality is 100% mathematical because they have literally no idea what mathematics actually is. They believe because someone in authority told them that mathematics is an unreal, man-made abstraction, which of course makes it a miracle that mathematics is indispensable to science. How can something unreal play any part in any account of reality or be relevant to it in any way? The 1%, the smartest people, can grasp something that the 99% cannot. They can grasp that mathematics appears everywhere in science because reality is mathematical. It is not mathematics that is the unreal, man-made abstraction. It's science. Science is the product of the man-made philosophy of materialism and empiricism. Science is about the observable, and what it believes it is observing is something ontologically undefinable, non-mathematical matter. That is, matter is claimed to be something that exists that is not mathematics, but is only elucidated via mathematics, which we are told is unreal. And no scientist flinches when they say that but all rationalists do. But now scientists say that 95% of the universe is unobservable. It is dark. Well, so much for observable matter. That's not working out too well. Mathematics, however disbelieving you may be, and your disbelief is probably off the scale, is actually what life is, what mind is, and what existence is. We are all mathematical minds in a mathematical universe that all of us constructed between us. This is a living reality, a self-solving, self-optimizing system. What you imagine mathematics to be has no connection to what mathematics is. Mathematics is maximally universal, maximally simple, maximally productive. Leibniz said, In whatever manner God created the world, it would always have been regular and in a certain general order. God, however, has chosen the most perfect, that is to say, the one which is at the same time the simplest in hypothesis and the richest in phenomena. God is in fact the collection of all minds, and you yourself are one of those minds, hence a node or spark of God. You are made of mathematics, and the universe you create in conjunction with all the other minds is of course made of mathematics too. And that's why science was useless before it became mathematized and would be useless again if it ever dropped mathematics. The ontological question is, what is existence made of? There is only one thing it can be made of, regardless of how much you dislike the answer or demonstrate absolute incredulity towards it. The sole thing it can be made of is math, and that is the Occam's razor answer to why it is impossible to do science without math. Math is what underpins science. The mathematical universe looks like a scientific universe. How would you tell the difference? But what mathematics can do that science cannot is explain life, mind, free will, consciousness, the unconscious, subjectivity, the non-local, the transcendent, the teleological. Want to know how? Then get informed. Study ontological mathematics. Start with the books by Mike Hockney. But be aware that Mike's books are so hard-hitting and controversial that Jeff Bezos banned them from Amazon. True story. Find out what Bezos was so afraid of. It will change your life. It will change the world. Superiore. Dare to know.